Good afternoon and welcome to Friday's Fed Talks. Uh, I'm Michael Balaban and today I have with me Keith Goldman and he's here today to talk about year-end gifts to the Jewish Federation and Jewish community. Keith? Year-end giving is a great opportunity for you to make gifts to our organization. As we know, the stock market is at an all-time high. There are many of us with a potential stock portfolio of highly valued stock that we paid a very low price for. And if we as taxpayers go ahead and sell those shares ourselves, we're responsible for paying a capital gains tax. Instead, because you're a supporter of the Jewish Federation, and I am, why not consider donating a share or several shares of highly appreciated assets that you own to the Jewish Federation? And if I do that, I don't have to pay the tax. Correct. So rather than write the check that you normally do every year, instead consider donating shares of stock to us. I also understand that individuals can use IRAs to make a contribution and avoid tax consequences. How would that work? Sure. If you are of the age uh, 70 and a half or older and you own an IRA, you have the opportunity to make a direct distribution out of your IRA to the Jewish Federation. You will not pay federal income taxes on that distribution, and at the same time, too, it will satisfy your required minimum distribution. You also have talked in the past about donor-advised funds, or as we call them here, fill funds. Can you explain a little bit about that? Sure. Fill funds is an opportunity, is a fund uh, that's held in your name. You make a, a, a distribution, a, a contribution to your fund, and then you advise us. You have the opportunity to advise us as to what charities you would like to support through your fund. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about year-end giving and some of the tax savings that you could receive. Wishing you a happy Hanukkah and a warm and meaningful Shabbat.